What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can create fully personalized landing pages or lead magnets using a combination of clay and Webflow. Firstly, shout out to Ty Hilton and the team at Landing Page Labs for collaborating with us on this. They were managing the Webflow side of things and just did an awesome job with the aesthetics. So I'm going to jump straight into it. Firstly, I'm going to show you what one of these landing pages looks like, and then we're going to work our way back from there. So this is an example. And for me, for my GTM engineering agency, I want to basically be able to show a prospect exactly what it would be like to work with us and how we would deploy campaigns for their specific offer. So my landing page idea is basically to create a fully custom outbound action plan for any company that just enters in their email address. So this is what the end product looks like. It's got the company's logo at the top, X, the stack optimized logo. It's got the prospect's first name. It says Yan's custom outbound action plan. Below that, we have a fully personalized VSL. It's not going to pick up the sound when I play it, but it's basically a 60 second video of me talking through what is in this action plan and how it is fully tailored to Yan and his company. In this case, his company is called Watergraph. And this video was generated completely automatically using HeyGen all inside of Clay. If we scroll down, we then move on to this section with the company profile. And here we basically just outlined who their ideal customer profile is. So Watergraph sells to marketing leaders. We've outlined their unique selling points. And then we have created a list of secondary domains that they could use for their cold email sending. If we scroll down a little further, we've put together a campaign strategy section where we have highlighted the top three most relevant triggers. So in this case, we are recommending they can do competitor follower scraping on LinkedIn. We actually mentioned the specific competitor that they should be scraping from. In this case, it's called Agency Analytics. And we actually give the LinkedIn URL of this company here. We're then recommending they monitor for live job postings. So any company hiring for marketing analytics managers and the tool they can use for that is their stack. And then finally, we are recommending they use the technology used trigger identifying companies using a specific technology. In this case, those using Looker Studio, Supermetrics or Databox. We've outlined how they should think about segmenting their different campaigns, both along the job role lines, look like targeting and the size of the target company. And then we've given them, given them some custom lead magnet ideas as well. Finally, we've generated an example three step email sequence to demonstrate how we might think about crafting emails and also how we're able to personalize these emails at scale. So what we do is we firstly create an example ideal prospect. In this case, we've come up with a random person called Sarah Anderson, Director of Analytics and Operations at Digital Pulse Agency, a digital marketing agency. So obviously, Watergraph is targeting digital marketing agencies, and this is a hypothetical ideal profile. We then put together our three-step sequence, email one, email two, and email three. I'm not going to just read through these sequences now, but you can pause the video and check out these sequences. All of them should be personalized to Watergraph's target market and also pull through Watergraph case studies, pull through our lead magnet ideas, and any other relevant personalization points. And below this, we are outlining the tech stack we would deploy and also the expected results if they did start an engagement with us. Finally, we're just chucking a timer down here to drive some urgency and then some social proof. So some quotes from our customers and then a bunch of case studies that we're just dropping in here and reasons why we differentiate from other agencies. So in terms of how we put this all together, it all starts from an email submission on our website. So if we go to the Stack Optimized website, on the home page, right at the top, there's an option for a lead to enter their email address in here. We need a work email. And that is all we need. We don't need any information about the prospect's name, their company, their LinkedIn profile. They just need to submit a work email, copy and paste it in here, and then hit send. When they do that, their email address is then going to be sent to a webhook in a clay table. So let's jump over to that clay table. That's what we're looking at on the screen now. Now, to put this whole flow together, we needed four tables in our clay workbook. The first table is for qualification. So we're pulling in the lead and their email address in this column here. The first thing we need to do is to just qualify that we are basically able to action this for the prospect. So for example, if a prospect gives us a personal email address, like an at Gmail or an at Yahoo email address, we actually can't do much with that. We need at least the company email address to enrich for all the other data points that you've just seen 
on the lead magnet. So first thing we're doing is basically filtering out all personal email addresses. If we do get a personal email address, the prospect receives an automated message basically saying we can't action this because it's a personal email address. Please submit your work email address and we'll get it over to you. Next thing I'm doing is I am just qualifying that this is actually an ideal prospect for me. So for example, if we get a competitor of ours submitting for the lead magnet, then I actually don't really want to send this action plan to them. So we are running an enrichment to basically generate a summary of what the company does using Clagent in this column here. And then I'm running a checker using Claude to verify what type of company they are based on that company summary. And if they're a competitor to output the word agency, if they are an ICP prospect to output the word good, and then we're only progressing with the ones that are basically uh, verified prospects. So when that happens, we are then pushing the verified or qualified prospects to our next table, which is the enrichment table. In this table, we're basically going to find all the data points that we need to create that beautiful landing page. So first things first, I want to find the logo of the company so I can add it right at the top of the landing page. I want it to make it personalized to the prospect, but not just in terms of the copy, but also visually personalized as well. So that's why I wanted to stick the logo right at the top of the page. So the first thing we're doing is running basically a logo enrichment waterfall. We're checking multiple providers sequentially until we can find a logo URL. So here we are checking Clay's own enrich company enrichment to find the logo. If we don't find it there, we are checking to see if we can find it in Detagma. And if we don't find it in Detagma, we check Clearbit. In this column here, we have our logos final column which is going to be the final input for the logo placeholder on the landing page. As you can see, it pretty much never fails to find the logo across these three different providers. Moving along, we're just doing some data cleaning. So we want to reference the person's first name in the title of the landing page. More often than not, we can get that from the email address. Sometimes we just need to play around with the data or run some more enrichments to find the first name. If we can't find the first name, if the person's email address is like their initials, for example, and then we can't find their LinkedIn profile off their email address, we're basically just calling the mystery stranger here. Now, next thing to do is to create all of the copy inputs that are gonna make the sections of the landing page. So whenever we create chunks of copy like this, we always want to reference an initial data source. And the way we do that is we generate a company summary. So in this column, we are using Clayagent to create a comprehensive summary of these companies based off of their LinkedIn company description and also what is found on the website. We're then gonna use this company sum summary and reference it anytime we need to create a chunk of personalized copy for the prospect. So we have our company summary here, and now we're using Claude to generate all of the copy sections of that landing page. So here we're using Claude to generate an ideal customer profile. We are using Claude to generate the unique value proposition sections, the secondary domain sections here, the different trigger-based flows that we had in the campaign strategy section, our outreach segmentation, and the lead magnet ideas in this column here. We're then just doing a bit more data cleanup here, normalizing the company name. We want all of the data, all of the copy to look clean and normalized. And next, we are creating our personalized Hey Gen VSL. So the way we do this is we firstly create a script for the VSL. Again, we're using Claude for this and we're basically just prompting Claude to create a 60 second script tailored to this prospect, walking through what is in the contents of the landing page in a way that is custom to the prospect and their company. We then feed that script into this Hey Gen enrichment. In Hey Gen, we've already basically created our template avatar and now we just need to feed the script to the avatar and it's gonna churn out personalized videos. We then basically ran out of space in our table. We still need to run a couple more enrichments. We need to generate that three-step email sequence. We didn't have enough columns in this table, so now we need to push everything to another table where we are gonna generate the sequence and then finally push all of the data to a Webflow landing page. So let me jump across to the third table here. And as you can see, we've pulled through all of the columns from the previous table, and now we are creating the three-step cold email sequence. So we have different uh, Claude enrichment columns, again, for the sequences, the PS lines, each email, et cetera, et cetera. And finally, everything is now ready to push to our landing page template in Webflow to create these custom landing pages. That's exactly what is happening in this column here. We have created 
our Webflow template with a bunch of placeholder variables. And we are just populating all of those placeholder variables, as you can see here, with all of the enrichments and data points that we have created and gathered in all of the previous columns. Once that is then done, we're actually sending the data to make.com to do a few more bits with it. But essentially, we're going to be sending the landing page to the prospect via email and then notifying the team internally via Slack that a prospect has received their landing pages. This is just an awesome flow. It's fully automated end to end. It requires no work from us and also really demonstrates our expertise. If we're basically able to put together a fully custom action plan like this just off of a prospect's email and send it over to them within four to five minutes of them submitting this, then then imagine what we could do for you if we actually entered into a formal engagement together. That's that's the feeling that we're trying to create for our prospects. And these convert really, really well. About 10, 15% of everyone that submits an email and collects a landing page ends up booking a call. And some of those are basically sold already. They get on the call, they're super impressed with the landing page, they haven't seen anything like it. And we're able to basically one call close them. Obviously, other people that are more familiar with the industry and how these flows work, they know what we're doing in the back end, but they're still impressed. They still haven't seen anything like it. So I hope this video has been useful. If you're new to Clay, we actually teach Clay as a core module as part of our GTM engineering course. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. And if you're interested in working with us further, we offer end-to-end -end GTM engineering services from fully managed outbounds to AI agent build and deployment. My calendar link will be in the description as well. Just grab some time with me and I'll be happy to chat. See you on the next one.